I don't know how to code at all. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how platforms like Bolt.new, Repl Agent, and DataButton are completely changing the game, letting you build powerful AI software without writing a single line of code. And I'll prove it by building a software in just five minutes. Then I'll share five effective ways that you can start making money with these no-code AI tools in 2025. So if you're not a technical person, but you want to turn your ideas into real SaaS products, this video is exactly what you need. So let's get right into it. All right, so instead of bolt on new and we're actually gonna be building a time tracker productivity app and I wrote the prompt here. If you guys want the prompts, I made sure to add the links in my free school community. And here is the initial prototype that it built out. And I basically said now add the ability to change the timer. Also make the timer look cool with circle along with the ability to end a session and add a dark mode feature. As you can see, it writes the code really quickly. This is about 4X speed, but it did this all in about 30 seconds or so, and it will spit out the second prototype. Now you can see the code being generated again on the right-hand side. We're always gonna interact with the prompt on the left-hand side. It takes that prompt and then writes the code for us, which is really cool. It's cool being able to see the code written. Now there is an error that's popping up and all we need to do is click the fix problem button right there and it'll actually resolve the issues for us. So it's cool that it can identify issues in the code since we're not technical and we would have no clue how to spot it ourselves. All right, here we go. It made all those changes. So let's go ahead and play around with it now. We have a light and a dark mode. We have access to multiple different timers. Uh, we started the timer and now we're adding some ideas. And now we could even add some kind of issues we've run into during our session and then the tasks completed. So those are now added. You can see on the right hand side, there is a session history along with all of the notes that we added during our session. Now we're going to make some changes to the prompt and say amazing. Now add a feature to name each session along with the goal of each of the sessions. Have a check mark if the goal was completed. Let's see what this gives us now that we're adding a little bit extra functionality. So it only took about 30 seconds to add these different features. So now we could add the session names. So All right, let's just name this video brainstorm. And let's just say the session goal is to establish the concept and title for the next video. All right, so now it looks like there's no way to actually start this session. I click the reset button, it does not work. So we actually need to go back to the prompt and then go ahead and let it know that it's not working. Sometimes there could be bugs, but you just need to address the bug and it should fix it. After about 30 seconds or so of this code being written, it gives us another example here and then it's still not working so i go ahead i take a screenshot and i basically say this is what it is showing and that way it could know kind of a better way to address the issue let's try this once more so let's add a title here and then let's also add a session goal so as you can see it looks like the timer is now working it is counting down and we could then add session notes so this brain here this is the ideas inside of our session so Here's an idea for a title. So build a SaaS with AI in 15 minutes. Let's add a task that was finished. So let's just say we finished the thumbnail creation. Another task that we could create is come up with an idea for the title and it's adding all of these here. This is amazing. And then here is kind of an issue we ran into. I need to still write the script for a video. So let's end this session now. And you can see on the right hand side, this session has been saved with the title, the goal of the session, and all the notes that we actually added. This is how quickly you could actually deploy this to a site. So click the blue deploy button in the top right. Boom, there you go. In about 30 seconds, it spit this out. As you can see up here, here's the URL to actually access this web application, our Focusful app right here. And if you wanna get legit, obviously you wanna add your own custom domain. You could even allow users to sign up with a paid subscription. This is just a very, very quick example. I built all of this in under five minutes just for this video to show you how cool this is. I added some notes. I clicked complete and then you could see on the right hand side the session along with the session notes and that it has been completed. So now that you can see the power of these AI coding platforms, I'm going to go into the five best ways to make money with this at the end of 2024 and going into 2025. So one of the easiest ways to start making money with Repl Agent, Bolt.new, or DataButton is building a clone of an existing software that already has product market fit. So when a product has product market fit, it means that customers already find it valuable and are willing to pay for it. So instead of taking a gamble on a new idea, you can actually replicate something that's already proven to work. This doesn't mean copying the software exactly. It's about taking what's successful and putting your own spin on. It. Maybe you could make a version that's simpler, easier to use, or more budget friendly. It's important to note that you're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. You're offering a similar solution 
with a fresh perspective or a better price point. All right, so here's the hack that can help you find your first customers with this strategy. First, dive into forums, social media groups, and communities where users of the original softwares hang out. These are places where people discuss their likes, dislikes, and even frustrations with the product they're using. For example, if you decide to clone a social media management tool like Hootsuite, you could visit Hootsuite's user forums, Reddit threads, or Facebook groups. Pay attention to the common complaints or feature requests that users have and see if you could address those in your version. All right, once your clone is ready, start engaging with these communities and pitch your product as an affordable alternative by reaching out to each of these users in the platform. For example, if you could say, hey, I built a new social media tool similar to Hootsuite, but at a fraction of the cost and it even has X feature that users have been asking for. Since these users already understand the value of the original software, they're more likely to give an alternative a try if it means saving money or getting features they wish they originally had. It's a simple but effective way to carve a niche for yourself in a market that's already been validated. That's the important part. By offering a solution that's cheaper or has unique improvements, you could attract users who are looking for a better deal while leveraging a market that's already proven itself. And with tools like Replit Agent, Bolt.new, or DataButton, you can get a prototype up and running in record time, allowing you to test the market and start making money quickly. All right, so number two on how to make money with these platforms, build an MVP development agency. So what does that mean? Most people, especially non-technical founders, have an idea but don't know how to bring them to life. With these AI coding platforms, you could whip up MVPs, which means minimum viable products, super fast. And MVP is essentially a stripped down version of a product that allows startups to test their ideas with minimal investment to find product market fit. It's a way for entrepreneurs to validate their concept before pouring in time and money. And because people don't know how easy it can be done with AI, you could charge $2,500 or more on a project. This is because you're not just offering a product, you're offering expertise and speed, something that's incredibly valuable to early stage startups. Look for startups or entrepreneurs who are eager to test their ideas in the market, but lack the tech skills. You could find these founders in startup forums, LinkedIn groups, or local entrepreneur meetups. By offering quick and affordable MVP development, you're making their dreams a reality and earning well along the way. For this, you could charge a flat fee for a project, request initial deposit before starting, and even break the payments into milestones to ensure steady cash flow as you make progress. It's a win-win, you get paid for your skills, and they get a working prototype to take on investors or early users. All right, strategy number three to make money with these AI coding platforms. Flip software products. Another profitable strategy is to build a micro SaaS product and then flip it for a profit. You can use Replit Agent, Bolt.new, or DataButton to create a small software tool that solves a specific problem. Think of things like productivity trackers, a simple CRM, or a tool that automates social media posts. Once it's up and running, you could list it for sale on platforms like acquire.com, which allow you to list and buy buy different software products on the market. Many buyers are interested in acquiring the infrastructure of a SaaS product that already solves a problem, even if it's not generating massive revenue. These are entrepreneurs that are looking for apps with a solid foundation that they can further develop or market, saving them the time and effort of building from scratch. It's like digital real estate. You could build it, polish it, and then sell for a profit. You could either charge a flat price for the software, often ranging from $2,000 to $10,000 or more, depending on the complexity and the potential market size. Alternatively, negotiate a deal based on the app's potential future earnings or user base, which could push the value higher, but that's getting a little technical and might be a little bit tougher. This way you could get an upfront payment for your hard work and the buyer gains a ready to go software solution they could continue to grow. For you, this means quick cash and the ability to move on to the next project while the buyer can scale up what you've built without starting from scratch. All right, strategy number four to make money. If building entire products sound like a lot, which sometimes it can be, why not build templates instead? With these AI coding platforms, you could quickly develop templates for SaaS products like a pre-built CRM, a task manager, or social media scheduler. These templates could be served as a foundation, giving users a head start without needing to build from scratch. Create templates for different types of MVPs to define a clear roadmap that others can follow, outlining the steps they need to customize a template to fit their needs. Once you have a few templates ready, sell them on platforms like Gumroad, which makes it really easy to reach a wide audience of aspiring entrepreneurs. This is perfect for people who want to start their own software but don't know where to begin or those who want to save time by using a pre-built structure. They'll pay for a head start and that's where you come in offering templates 
priced anywhere from $50 to $500, depending on the complexity and the value you provide. This is a very scalable way to make money as you can build a template once and sell it many times to different buyers, creating a steady stream of passive income while others launch their own products. All right, strategy number five to make money with these AI coding platforms. Finally, let's talk about launching a micro SaaS app. These are single feature tools that solve specific problems like automating email responses, tracking time for freelancers, or analyzing social media posts for sentiment. The key is to keep it simple but effective. Focus on solving one problem really well instead of trying to build an app around a ton of features. Make the core functionality free so users can try the service and see the value it provides before committing to pay. For example, users might get a limited number of free automated email responses each month, but if they need more, they could pay for a premium plan with higher limits or additional features. You could offer various subscription tiers such as a basic plan for $5 a month, or a pro plan for 20 to $100 a month with robust features. This way you could attract a larger audience with the free offering, then convert a portion of them into paying users who need more advanced features. This is really important that you provide real value in order to convert those customers into paid users. It's a great way to build a loyal customer base, generate recurring revenue, and have a clear path to growth as your user base expands. By focusing on a niche problem and keeping the app easy to use, you could stand out in the market and create a steady income over time. All right, these tools are truly changing the game when it comes to building software. Traditionally, creating a SaaS product meant you needed deep technical skills, a development team, and months, if not years, of coding, and a lot of money. But now, with AI-driven platforms like Replit Agent, Bolt.new, DataButton, even non-technical founders can bring their ideas to life. This shift is completely democratizing the SaaS landscape, and it's no longer just about who could code the best, it's about who could come up with the best ideas and execute quickly. With these tools, you could go from concept to a functional product in a matter of days or even hours. This means more innovation, more competition, and ultimately better products for everyone, so you could take advantage of that. What's even more exciting is it opens up opportunities for people who never thought they could be a part of the tech world. If you've got a problem to solve or a unique angle on an existing idea, you can now compete directly with established companies without needing a technical background. If you want to dive deeper into how to leverage these tools and learn about building SaaS products without needing a technical background, join my free school community. It's called AI for Non-Techies. In this community, we explore how AI is reshaping the way we build software and the way we interact with computers. And I'll show you exactly how to take advantage of these new tools to create real products even if you've never written a line of code, I never have myself. All right, with all that being said, I hope you guys got some value from this video. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and sign up for these different no-code AI software platforms. They are really changing the game with how we interact and build products online, and it presents a lot of opportunity in 2025. So hope you guys got some value. I will see you guys in the next video.